Hey, praise the Lord, Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. My question to you, YouTube land, are you rapture ready? If the rapture would have come, would you be caught up according to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 and 17? Those who remain will be caught up with the Lord to meet him in the air. And before I continue... I'm a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I need your help. It'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Thank you so much. Blessings to you. Comment positive or comment any way you want. It don't matter. Hit the like button. If you hit the dislike button, I'll have to find you with the five-fold ministry. I'm just kidding you. And the video is over six minutes that I did years ago or more like Bible studies that I felt uh, where I do exp expound and teach more of revelation out of Scripture. Let's just go into prayer because, Father, the impartation of the Holy Spirit called the anointing is not only always taught, it's caught. And, Lord, I believe you showed me a week ago uh, what's coming on the earth, and it shook me. And, friends, what the Lord showed me is that what's coming on the earth is going to be ten times worse than what was just recently. In other words, the pandemic, pandemic, whatever you want to tout or to call it, call it New York. The state got hit the hardest. I lost some family members to it. The word plague and pestilence is mentioned over 100 times in the Bible. The race riots and the killing of Mr. George Floyd. My condolences to a senseless tragedy, a horrible, horrible tragedy. Now, Jesus said nation against nation. In the Greek, that means race, well, ethnic groups against ethnic groups. And I'm telling you. These race riots are not going to go away. They, they're probably going to get much worse. The Lord spoke to me. He said, Rob, what's coming on the earth soon, soon, is not going to be twice as bad, not five times as bad, ten times as bad. And it, it really shook me. And about two months ago, the Lord spoke to me. He says, what's in this book that Brother Wil Wilkerson wrote, the Prophet Wilkerson in 1973, the vision is going to come to pass. And manifest on the earth in full fruition a lot sooner than you think now. How did this man know that the marijuana was going to be legalized 50 years ago? So I believe this man was hearing from the Lord. He's seen cities being burned to the ground. Now, I just did two radio shows with Pastor Dana Coverstone. If you've never seen the video, Three Dreams on YouTube. Three Dreams from Pastor Dana. And the man feels the Lord spoken to him what's coming even as early as this fall of 2020, where great calamities, perilous times, the beginning of the birth pangs, Jesus talked about the beginning of sorrows. I believe the contractions are intensifying. So my question is, are you ready if the rapture were to come tomorrow? Now, I'm not saying it is. No man knows the hour of the rapture and also the second coming of Jesus. I'm not here to debate pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib. I'm saying be ready. There's an urgency. I'm stirred. I'm compelled. I've been on TV 10 years preaching the gospel, this wonderful, blessed gospel, on seven secular TV stations, almost 50 shows a week in the tri-state area in New York preaching the gospel. But Jesus talked about great tribulation and, and the great and dreadful day of the Lord, the great and terrible day of the Lord. Great if you're on God's side, not so good if you're not. Friends, the separation has not begun. It's here. The sheep from the goats, the wheat from the tares, angels, demons, light and darkness, heaven and hell. There's no more greatness. Like, choose ye this day who you'll serve. Get off the fence if you're backslidden or lukewarm or cold of heart. Get on fire for Jesus by the grace of God. Do it, hallelujah, by the grace. Dust yourself off. Make a comeback like the prodigal son. And I believe for some it's going to be a, root, a great awakening. For others it's going to be a rude awakening. So Jesus talked about Matthew 24, earthquakes, wars of rumors, and diverse places. There's many signs, and we're seeing acceleration. And Joel talks about a sober, solemn assembly. And I believe the pastor, Dana, is talking about a September solemn assembly, a solemn September. And he's look, we're looking for prayer and intercession. In September of 2020, hallelujah. Now I believe simultaneously we're going to see a great move of God. <clears throat> a billion souls, a harvest to come into the kingdom of God. Isaiah 60 talks about, you know, rise, shine, for your light is come. 
The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The gross darkness covers the friends. The light shines the brightest in the darkest. So I believe simultaneously it's the best of times and the worst of times. Anything great can happen. And unfortunately, there are triggers and boiling points and tipping points where anything tumultuous can happen. You know, it's like you could just turn the news on, dude, and all of a sudden things are falling apart in a city or something manifests. It's a serious and a sober hour. Let's just pray that the Lord keeps us by his grace. Father, we're asking you by your grace to keep us, that we can endure, strengthen us. Let us have enough oil in our lamps. Let us not be like the five foolish virgins. Let us be like the five wise ones. It says when they all slept and slumbered and you came back. No one knows when you're coming back. A thief in an hour you think not. So, Lord, just strengthen your church, strengthen me, strengthen us in the name of Jesus. And if you're not born again, hallelujah, you must be born again. You must have a relationship with God through his son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus said you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. You cannot go back into your mother's womb and be born a second time. It's a spiritual rebirth. Now, pray this prayer and recite it with me. It's not reciting the prayer, it's the faith behind it that activates the Lord to come take residence and live in you. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Friends, if you prayed that prayer, the Lord bless you. Subscribe to the channel, it'd be an honor. Comment any way you want. Hit the like button. Bless you in Jesus' name.